Hello everyone. All right, so we're going to start finding the greatest common factor of polynomials. It says in a multiplication problem, numbers multiplied together are called factors, which is something we already know, and that the answer to a multiplication problem is a product. And in the multiplication problem, 5 times 4 equals 20. 5 and 4 are both factors, and 20 is the product. We're going to do the same thing with polynomials, but we're just going to break them up into chunks. That makes it easier for us to work with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first step in factoring polynomials is to factor out the greatest common factor. And this is the largest integer and the highest degree of each variable. That will divide evenly into each of the term of the polygon. Okay. So let's go to the next screen. It says factoring is the reverse of multiplying, which is something we've already do been doing for a while. And one way that you can do it when you have more than one variable is you can write them out, just like they've done here. So x squared times y thir to the third power. There are two x's and three, three y's. <clears throat> and x to the fifth power times y is five x's and one y. And what they've done is they've grouped what they have in common. So they each have two x's and they each have one y. So the greatest common factor of these two is x squared, because there's 2, and y. If I have 6 and 10, <clears throat> the greatest common factor of 6 and 10, so I have 1 and 6, and 2 and 3, I have 1 and 10, and 2 and 5. So the greatest common factor of each of these is 2, and I have two x's, and I have three x's, so I know I can use x squared. And I have eight y's here, and six y's here, so six y's. Um, there's no z's in this one, so they don't share a common factor. And so that's why the greatest common factor of these two um, are two x squared, y to the sixth power. Okay? And if it helps you to write them out like this, so that you can identify them, go ahead and do that. But you don't have to. All right, so 24x and 36. If I find the greatest common factors of 24 and 36, and they've done that here for us, uh, they got 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 6s, and 12s. 12 is your greatest common factor of these two numbers. And this has an x and this does not have an x, so 12 is the greatest common factor of these two terms. If I'm looking at this one, <clears throat> I have 7x squared and 21x. Uh, I know 7 will go into 21, so 7 is going to be my greatest common factor. And I have two x's here and one x here. So I know that they share an x. So that's my greatest common factor of th these two terms. I have 18 x to the sixth power and 12 x to the third power. My greatest common factor of 18 and 12 I know is 6. Yeah, 6 will be the largest. And then I have six x's here and three x's here, so they share three. So x to cubed. Been a while since I wrote with my board, you can tell. <clears throat> All right, so we have three x to the fourth power, y to the second power. And we're comparing it with 15 x to the third power, y to the third power. All right, so what's my common factor between 3 and 15? If you said 3, you're correct. I have 4x's here, 3x's here. Together, we uh, they share how many? They share having 3 of them. I have y squared and y cubed. They each have at least 2. So this is my greatest common factor of these two terms. On the next page of your notes, or the last page of your notes, you'll find questions 1 through 6, 
and that is your homework. Let me know if you need any help.